an egg means today. Unfortunately, here in United States, you think breakfast. An egg means a potential bird. Hello? Yes or no? It is just like, suppose you go into a cannibal society or a tribe, they look at you and say, ah, this little one for breakfast, this one for lunch, that one for dinner. That doesn't make, mean that you become breakfast, lunch, dinner. Unfortunately, you become if you're in the wrong place. So similarly, unfortunately for these birds, if you say egg, everybody thinks breakfast. Well done or rare or sunny side or poach it or boil it or whatever, nobody's thinking of a egg means a bird, a possible bird. Hello? Living thing. Now, now somebody will be arguing, no, no, ch chicken eggs we eat are not fertilized, I know all that, but why didn't you allow them to fertilize? Because you caged them up. Leave that part. Egg means essentially, it is hell. It's a potential life held in a case that will come out at a certain time. When you look at egg, you can't believe this can grow feathers and fly one day. Hello? Doesn't look like that, it looks aerodynamic. It can go like a jet maybe, but it can't fly like this. But what comes out of it will grow feathers and everything will happen. Next time you eat your egg, you must see the bird. Yes, a little bird, tiny little bird trying to come out of those liquids. Uh, no, nothing wrong, you must see the reality and then you will eat with some reverence, you know. Right now you're just thinking it's food. No, no, it's life. Unfortunately, we have to eat it. So at least a uh, little. So, If you just want to be all beefy brawn, then you can eat lot of meat and just grow muscles and fight with each other. But if you're looking at how to become sensitive to life, how to become perceptive, how to be able to perceive things beyond what is considered normal perception, then what you put into the system becomes very important. So what is it that passes through the system with least amount of resistance, with least amount of... Uh, uh, you know, struggle in the body. So to put this into perspective, let me put it this way. See, if you eat raw meat, for example, in the human system, compared to carnivorous animals, in all the carnivorous animals, the length of the alimentary canal is only three times the length of its body approximately. In all the herbivores, the length of the alimentary canal is five to six times the length of the body. So in a human being, it could be anywhere between twenty-four to twenty-eight or thirty feet, which is nearly five to six times the length of our body. In this kind of alimentary canal, if you put meat, it will travel through this very, very slowly. Approximately, raw meat would take seventy to seventy-two hours to pass through the system. If you put cooked meat, it will take fifty to fifty-two hours to pass through the system. If you put cooked vegetable meals, it will take uh, anywhere between twenty-four to thirty hours to pass through the system. If you put raw vegetables into the system, it will take twelve to fifteen hours to pass through the system. If you put fruit into the system, it will take one and a half to three hours to pass through the system. So, we started recognizing what is that food which happens in the body with least amount of residue, least amount of impurities and passes through the system very quickly because in yoga, this is an important thing, we all manage this even now. If we eat anything, within two and a half hours, we must be hungry, our stomach must be empty. But we won't eat, stomach is empty, but we are energetic, so we don't eat. Food is not to be made into a philosophy or a kind of a religious process, food is the requirement of the body. If we watch the body, with what sort of food, the body is most happy, body is most at ease, you will naturally notice vegetarian or plant-based food, body is most comfortable and is at ease. It… Uh, it is flexible, it is at ease, 
it uh, it has less to process on a daily basis so naturally those who observed the nature of their own bodies naturally became vegetarian when survival was a question hunting and eating whatever you kill was a natural process but once society settled down they could grow what they want as they observed themselves more and more and life became not about survival but about enhancing one's life to higher levels of perception and experience then turning vegetarian will naturally become it's a natural process it is bound to happen everywhere